for it is by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not from yourselves it is the gift of God why does God give us gifts he gives us the gift of faith so that we can see him hear him understand him and accept him and uh, our salvation does not come by way of our works because if it was based on works it means that those who work better they would be rewarded better or they would be more saved than others but he says no none of our works can save us so, so that no one can boast which would have put us in the categories of the most saved the more saved and the less saved but he says it is God's grace that comes upon every human being so you can read Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 to 9. The spiritual Israel, which is the church and its ethical living. Because the physical Israel is that one we have known, the descendants of Abraham, the, the, the Hebrews or the Jews, all those names apply. This case we are talking about the spiritual Israel, the people who have been chosen out of the human race to live an ethical life. So he says, ethical living is possible within a community called the church. The spiritual Israel is known as a church, which was founded by Jesus Christ on his blood. And it has ethical values attached to this community followers of Jesus shared all their possessions. Many thinkers have condemned this kind of life as being socialism. But it is important to share. It is ethical living. When you look through the life of the early church, by nature of socialization, they lived in comfort. They said there is no one that lacked anything because whatever one had was shared among them which means it was a responsibility for each member to make sure that everyone of them was living in comfort. And again, we refer that to this you were called because Christ suffered for you. He gave himself for, for us, leaving you as an example that you should follow in his footsteps. If Jesus cared for the poor, if Jesus gave himself for the sake of us experiencing good life, why not you who has become a member of the church do the same? Do you find it hurting you if you extend a hand of help to somebody who is lacking? Do you find it hurting for you to give a piece of advice to somebody who is getting lost? Take an example, if you see somebody losing his way and takes a wrong way, is it hurting for you to advise somebody and say, if you are going to Kampala, take from Kono, go on your left. Or you say, it is your own responsibility, you go on. So you will find that we have been called in order to extend services to others, love them teachings of the apostles on the ethics. An example we talk about Paul. He says we get freedom from sin by grace, not works, as we had seen earlier. But this comes after becoming a Christian, that our lives have no, have to normally do good works. That's when you become a Christian, you begin getting enlightened you begin seeing as we talked about world you begin seeing things differently how you you look at your neighbor when you are a christian might be different from the way how you used to look at that neighbor because in christian in christian living there is no room for hatred enmity and whatever yes we know we wrong one another but one of the element of 
bridging gap is repentance and forgiveness when a neighbor human humanly will will make you angry will make you disappointed what one of the things you can do is to forgive repent and be forgiven and then the community continues so he says we get freedom from sin by god's grace that he has given us he is the one who forgives and not works as we had said after becoming christians our lives have to normally do good works now a christian must do good things if he fails like john says that if anyone sins we have an advocate that is jesus christ james also says faith without works is dead meaning good works do not bring faith but faith brings good works that is obvious when you are good you do good when you are bad you do bad but not necessarily that good works that we see come from people who has got faith john also says loving one another is the proof that we are true christians because we are followers of jesus christ then this brings us to the ethical significance of the book of revelation we have jumped all other books because the gospel or the message in the books is almost is similar but there is what we call ethical significance in this book where we see that christians have to overcome problems in order to enter the kingdom of god For when you are going to enter another country or you want to enter another country there are problems you need a passport you need a visa in some cases they say you need vaccination against maybe tetanus or you, you uh, uh, against a yellow fever or other things those are the problems you you have to solve before you enter another state another kingdom so it is like here that we have to overcome problems if we have to enter the kingdom problems in the book of revelation indicate that those who have a vision of god's kingdom need to be patient and to endure hardships it helps in ethics patience if you are not patient you become impatient then you lose the direction it is like if you are crossing a road i say can you be patient until traffic reduces and uh, you say i'm impatient i am, i want to go and meet somebody i am I'm, i'm losing time your impatience may throw you into a problem so we have to be patient even when there are hardships we have to be patient in those hardships because time comes when jesus will come and liberate us god controls time from beginning to end time is in god's hands therefore he controls it he knows it and we have to wait until we have overcome and uh, john says loving one another is the proof that we are true christians so in conclusion we say christ came to give us freedom from the bondage of sin that we have to choose freely he came to gi to, to give us freedom from the bondage of sin but we still have to choose it freely you either choose to be free or you choose to remain it is not possible to live ethically without this freedom from sin which jesus christ brings therefore reading through the new testament will help us to see the ethics that are that is advocated for as we we live in the kingdom of god